in showbiz terms, this is as normal and as a job you're going to get because it's five days a week. It's, it's it, normal. Come on, people want me to be professional, but they want me to rock, rock and roll, and I don't know which <laughs> which 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 I, which I am anymore. <laughs> Wilson, brand new host, permanent host, five yeah. days a week, Monday through Friday, proper job. As far as showbiz is concerned, it's as good as it gets from a proper job point of view. The Virgin Radio Afternoon Drive Time Show. Thank you very much for having me, Chris. <laughs> right, so this is really exciting. So Ricky is, we're not yanking your chain here. Why would we do that? From January the 9th, Ricky Wilson is going to be the permanent host of the Virgin Radio Afternoon Drive Time Show, 4 till 7 p.m. Monday through to Friday. Uh, congrats on that. Let's just talk about the Kaiser Chiefs tour because you're straight off the back of that now. Yeah. Um, you are tour fit. You look like you could be flying no, out no, to Qatar no, to play in the I, World I, Cup. I, I'm not tough. It this I, this is a the change in me. Grace has been trying to persuade me to wear a medium for years, right? And I've gone to a medium. No, I've no, you, I've known you forever. You were off the back of a tour. You were literally you were all skin and bones over there. Well, it's it gets, it's harder than it used to be. <laughs> My carbs. I, you know, I didn't realise till the other day. I spend ninety minutes of the show on my tiptoes, and my calves have gone. I'm not joking. It's so funny you should say that. What? Because when I started doing car fest, and yeah. I hadn't done anything energetic for a while, and I started when I was 44 doing car fest. I'm 44 now. And I'm not joking. On the Saturday morning after the first yeah. Friday, I thought, oh my calves. <laughs> In showbiz terms, this is as normal and as a job you're going to get because it's five days a week. It's, it's it, normal. Come on. Yeah, it's just not in the shit in the world of show. Well, no, business. yeah, well, it's my first job in twenty years. Yeah, I've been working very hard at not getting one. I know, and now I've fallen into one, <laughs> and I have to ask to go on holiday. That's weird. Yeah, and I've got bosses. Yeah, it's, I mean, I'm really excited. It's going to be great every day. It's better to start with who you are and then sort of fashion some kind of radio uh, sheen around that as opposed to start with the sheen and then have to re-find who you are because you over-layered yourself. It's, it's funny soon. you say that because um, my uh, bandmate Simon, who plays bass, he says, when I'm on the radio, it's most similar I am to being me than anything else. On stage, he says, that's a different person. Yeah, of course it is. Doesn't even like him. <laughs> on TV, he says, I come across weird. You've got your James Brown cape on, <laughs> yeah, yeah. on stage. He says, on TV, I come across weird. Do you mean you don't climb up scaffolding on a daily basis? That's why I don't go to after parties, right? <laughs> if I go to a party after a show, people are very disappointed. Yes. They go, go on. Do more. You said, because we talked, didn't we? We talked in the middle of your last 11 day tour, which has been a brilliant tour. Thank uh, you. I, you know, the reports, the reviews have been amazing, you know, and it's been technical in all aspects, you know, on stage, off stage, mm -hmm. all this. It's pr pr it was proper rock and roll. You know, you really tied it on, didn't you? It was, it was rock and roll, some, some of it more than others. Yeah. Uh, it had its ups and downs. I, um, uh, yeah, it's funny being rock and roll because I've I, I put, I painted myself into a corner mm. where. People want me to be professional, but they want me to rock and roll, and I don't know which 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 I, which I am anymore. So I have to kind of be you a are bit... between rock and roll and a hard place. I, I, I literally am. Do you have an idea of what you're going to do? What I'm going to do on the radio? Yeah, play the music. You're going to rock and roll. Going to play lots of music, which yep. I, I really like the playlist on here. I think it's great, and it really is conducive to having a good time driving home. Right. And Get, I'm going to play a lot of kinds of have guests. <laughs> I've guessed. That's so funny. Uh, I, yeah, well, I don't know. Records. Well, hey, we've got one out at the moment. It's pretty good. It's really good. It's doing well. I doing, love it. it. Doing... Right, what's your prep between now and um, January for your uh, drive time show? Mobile phone notes. Right. That's that's where it starts. Right. Every day, see something stupid, write it down. Yeah, good for you, mate. And then, uh, and then put them all in there. When I get in, I always arrive an hour and a half early. Yeah. Write them all down on a piece of A4. Yeah. And then lose it. You don't need it. Once the, once the floodgates are open and you start the show, yep. it becomes like a tumbling thing where ideas lead to and another. And different things happen in this studio that happen outside that door. It's exactly. so weird, isn't it? It's, it must, yeah. must be like being on stage, I would imagine. Yeah, well, that's that's the terrifying thing about being on stage, the unpredictability of it and where it's going to go. And um, you can have a plan in your head, but it's great to have a plan in your head, but never stick to it. The unpredictability, the irony of the man who wrote, I predict a riot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> circular radio. <laughs> there you go. Um, Ricky Wilson is the brand new host of the Virgin Radio Drive Time Show from January 9th. Thank you for having me. All right, you are awesome.